Peace, peace, peace. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know, it's your boy, Vic Slain Hope. Now today, you know, this is a video basically for the Muslims. Um, and I'm just going to talk about like my, my Muslim books that I have. Um, so first I will go with, this is my Mus'haf. Um, Mus'haf is, is, is technically, it's, it's my Uthmani script, Hafs, right? Quran. Um, and the Mus'haf is actually the, the real Quran, right? In the language that it was revealed in the Arabic language and you know as an actual Quran some scholars say that like the Quran who that has a translation of the English language is not really a Quran or if you have a straight English Quran they would say like that's not really a Quran um, they just say it's a translation of the Quran so it doesn't make it a Quran but of course we read it in English in the other language because we want to know what we're saying it's very important to know what you're saying um, next is this is again right this is like a Quran but it's, it's 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 both this is like a pocket size so it has like um so it's like English and Arabic I have the English on one side and then I have the Arabic on the other um so the Imam that passed away I got this in prison I actually believe yeah I bought all these books while I was in prison um so the Imam that passed away gave me this book in prison it has a lot of sentimental value and inshallah every time I read it. The brother gets a good deed, you know. Um, this is another Quran. This is a bigger one. That one is a smaller one, so I could carry it around the pocket version. Um, this one is a much bigger one. Um, it's very similar, um, but it's bigger. The Arabic words are bigger. So this one is English and Arabic. So this one has the Quran because it has the Arabic. Um, I, I, I don't own a Quran that don't have no Arabic in it. So these are like my... my Three Qurans, right? By the way, this is a noble. These are noble Qurans. It's, it's like the best Quran. It comes with a hadith at the bottom. Um, if you look at it in some of the pages on the bottom, they have like narrations from Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So it's for that reason, it's one of like the, the best Qurans. After that, um, I have Tafsir. Um, this is the thirtieth part. So the Quran, when it was re when it was revealed, it was separated into thirty parts. Um, predominantly because the month of Ramadan has 30 days, right? So it's, it's encouraged that we read. The Quran was revealed during the month of Ramadan, and we are encouraged to read at least one Jews. The Quran has 30 Jews, 30 parts, and we are encouraged to read one part each day of Ramadan. Um, so I got the last Jews. It's called Jews Amma, the 30th part. A lot of times when people, when Muslims are memorizing the Quran, they tend to memorize the shorter surahs, which is usually like the last, um, I forgot, Last 100 and something. I'm not, I'm bugging 100. <laughs> it's like the last <clears throat> 30 something servers. I, I forgot. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, I, I got the Ibn Kathir um, Tafsir because it's very important not only to know in your language what you are reading in the Quran or what you're reciting in your prayer in Arabic, but it's also important to know why it was revealed and what is the explanation of it. So, that's why I got this too. Next is the 40 Ahadith of Imam al Nawawi. Um, this book is very good. It's 40 narrations from the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Um, and it was, you know, it was put together to kind of like, you know, help us um, um, memorize certain, certain, certain Ahadith from the Prophets or, or, you know, just know about certain, some, of his, some of his important sayings. It's not like the most important, but like, it's, it's something like it was compiled together to like, you know, kind of like help us out. And learn something from the Sunnah of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. After that, I have Fortress of the Muslim. This is a book of invocation. It's, it's very good. It tells you what to say during your prayer. It tells you how to, what supplications to say when you go in the house, when you come out the house, when you go in the bathroom, when you come out the bathroom. Um, it teaches you a whole bunch of stuff. What you say before you eat, after you eat, what to say when you're taking off your clothes, when you put your clothes on. Um, tells you like when, when you are in distress it tells you what are invocations to say when you are in distress it's, it just has a whole bunch of prayers um from the quran and the sunnah it's, it's very vital um and you know the dua is the weapon of the believer so you can't go wrong with this book damn near most of the muslims that i know had a fortress of the muslim and the last book i have is this riyadu salihin it's a collection of riyadu salihin it's also from imam al nawawi this one is a very very great book um if you don't want the big one the big hardcover one you or you don't want to get the volume one volume two because i think it's two volumes of riyadu salihin 
um, and they are expensive too. So I got like a summarized compiled of both volumes. It's a collection. Um, it's very good. It has a whole bunch of narrations, and it's very great. Um, and remember, guys, like if you're a Muslim or you're learning about Islam, you don't have no Quran without the Sunnah, right? Um, the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam explains the book. The Quran came to explain the book. Just like Moses came to explain to his people the Torah, and just like Jesus came to ex explain the, the the gospel, right? So, the, the the role of the prophet is to explain the book. So it's important that as a Muslim you get into the ahadith, and the tafsir of the Quran is based on ahadith and understanding of our companions. So hopefully this video helped you out. If you're trying to figure out what kind of books to get, um, this is all the books I have. Um, so like you see I have some I have my, my, my Mus'haf, my Quran in Arabic I have my Arabic English Quran I have my Tafsir And I have a, a, a book of Dua Of of, of supplications And I have a, a, a book of Ahadith So and now I also have downloaded um, The the um, Ibn Kathir um, Tafsir It's on my phone so and it, it, Because it comes in 10 volumes And they're, they're like large volumes they're expensive So now you don't even really gotta buy certain things You could download um, books and stuff like that. So if you could do that, hey, go for it. So hopefully this benefits y'all. All right, you have a good one. Peace.